Hello everyone, today we will be talking about the academic intervention cover, copy, and compare. So cover, copy, and compare is an academic intervention that is used to help students master math facts, spelling, or other subject areas. It allows students to self-manage their learning and it requires students to look at a stimulus, which can either be a math fact or a spelling word, and then they cover it, copy it from memory, and compare it to the original problem. If the student makes an error, they must correct it before continuing to the next problem. While this intervention can be used for different subjects, we will be focusing on using it for math multiplication facts in our demonstration. So first, you will have the student study a problem and its solution on the left side of the sheet of paper. Then, they will use an index card or fold the piece of paper to cover up the problem and solution on the left side. Then, they will write the problem and solution on the right side of the paper from memory. Then, they will remove the index card or folded piece of paper from the left side of the paper, and then they will evaluate the response, and then they will correct the response if it is incorrect, and you will have the student study the problem again, and then cover it and have them write it again on the right side of paper. Um, this can also be modified so that you could have the student like write the problem twice from memory and if they get it wrong have them write it twice again. Um, it's really up to whoever is giving this um, intervention. They can modify it in any way. Um, and then you'll have them re repeat this process for each problem and it should only take about three to ten minutes. Um, the teacher creates the cover, copy, and compare worksheet and it typically has about ten problems on it. To prepare for the intervention, we will need one piece of paper with problems and solutions. They could be multiplication or division, which students have difficulties in remembering. And we need pencil for students to copy the sample responses from the paper. Finally, if there is a need of using material to cover the problems on the paper, in this card could be a choice. The cover, copy, and compare could be used as individual practice between an educator and a student. Professionals such as school psychologists might also help with individual as one-on-one -on -one section. Brief instruction or training for preparing the materials or procedure might be needed if necessary. Also, the intervention could be covered in small group among peers or introduced to the whole class as instructional activity. Research indicate that cover, copy, and compare would support students from K to 8 grade with academic practice. The most popular subject areas which the intervention applied to is math, including multiplication or division, and vocabulary focusing on correcting spelling. So why we would implant cover, copy, and compare? suggested with research-based studies or indications from Skinner and Hansen, is considered as an effective intervention which improves fluency for students who are struggling with math facts, spelling, and other academic base. Also, the intervention is not limited to help increasing accuracy in math facts, but also across different subjects like reading or writing. It allows students to practice self-management or autonomy in learning or reinforcing new contents. Lastly, for educators or students who are concerned about spending too much time on the intervention, the cover, copy, and compare briefly takes 3 to 10 minutes for each section, which could be regarded as an efficient intervention. Now we would demonstrate the intervention with a short video. In this demonstration, Ming Ming will be the student and I will be the teacher. Hi Ming Ming, how are you today? Hi, how are you? I'm good. So today we are going to work on cover, copy, and compare to help you um, with your multiplication facts. Sound good? Good. Okay. So first let me show you. So you're going to get a piece of paper like this. And you see the problems are all here with the solutions. And then there's this little fold right here. And then there's, the, there's these boxes too. So what you're going to do is you're going to study the first problem. So in this case, it's 5 times 2 equals 10. So you study it, and then you cover it using this flap. And then you're going to write it in the first box. So 5 times 2 equals 10. And then you're going to open this back up, and you're going to compare, see if it's right. 
and in this case, we're right, so we move on to the next problem. Mm -hmm. But if you got it wrong, then you would um, repeat the process. So you would study the problem again, and then cover it up, and then write it in this box. Does that you understand that? Yeah. Makes okay. Sense. All right. Sounds good. So here is your paper, um, and so you have a pencil, and you yeah. may begin. Okay. Four plus. And open it up. Open it. Compare it. So you see it's right. Four times one is four. So you can move on to the next problem. Okay. Three times zero. Okay. Open it up. Compare it. Three times zero is zero. So you can go ahead and move on. So you see that this is wrong. So eight times three is 24 and you put 25 so close. Um, but so in this case, you know, you would study it again and then cover it and then you would write the answer right here in this next box. Okay. Open it up. Yeah, so that looks good. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go ahead and move on to the next one. So, yep, we see six times seven is 42. So, go ahead and do that last one. Okay. Eight times two, 16. Yep, so eight times two is 16. So, good job. Okay, thank you. So, that is how you do cover, copy, and compare. Let's do this. So, you can see in our example, we use two boxes. So, they'd memorize it and put the first um, response here. And then, if they got it wrong, they would do this box here. Um, but there are cases where you can use more boxes if you wanted to. So you could do four boxes. But um, as I said, we did two in this one. So yep, that is how you do cover, copy, and compare. Thank you all for watching.